The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, Boris Optics, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffix Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Yukon Gear, Killer Instinct Crossbows, and Outfitter Financial. Over the past few seasons, I've been able to mentor some amazing young anglers and hunters, including my own daughter. From catching bass to hunting bears, being able to pass down some knowledge and experience to the next generation is something I enjoy doing. And seeing the excitement and passion they have for the outdoors makes it all worthwhile. In doing this, it inspired us to put on a contest searching for an apprentice. This will be the ultimate jumpstart to having your own fishing and hunting social media presence. To qualify, just submit a photo or 20 second video telling us why you should be the next Angler and Hunter TV apprentice. Through our social media pages, we had dozens of entries and we looked for personality, creativity, ambition and experience. Over a few months, we narrowed it down to five finalists who we thought would make a great co-host. These five all had what we were looking for, with some creative videos, well-spoken messages, and lots of great hunting and fishing stories. Amy Thomas. You saw a buck the other day? Yep, yeah. <laughs> Kobe Gravel. I have a couple friends uh, that I have on my camp, and all we do is hunt and fish when we're there. Cool. Logan Mumby. Hunting is... Not always about shooting animals. There's a lot of conservation in it. Sierra Milo. Bass fishing is my favorite. I like to catch anything, but bass is kind of my jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and Nathan Van Asseldog. It's just so relaxing being out in the woods, not having any problems going on or not really thinking about anything else. You're just kind of in the woods, taking it all in and having fun either shooting ducks, hunting deer, or catching fish. Yeah, yeah, you kind of the world stop when you're up there, right? Yeah. After a live Zoom interview and getting to know each candidate a little better, our final decision came down to... Nathan Vanasabon, N-A-T-H-A-N. Nathan had a great audition and met all the requirements we were looking for. No. Which meant we headed for Kingston, Ontario for a meet and greet dinner with Nathan and his dad, hosted by our friends from Apex Waterfowl. Part of, uh, you know, being the apprentice and coming out hunting and fishing with us is making sure you're geared up um, with some good stuff. So uh, a lot of our sponsors um, kicked in. Dad's probably going to want to try and yeah, probably. Throw that out of your hand, yeah. but uh, don't let him. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go hunting in the morning and... Um, yeah. You gotta host the whole show. Right. All right. Sounds good. Front to back. And if there is no action, don't worry, you're gonna carry it. Yeah. All right? <laughs> you got you, you got it covered, brother. All right, we'll see you Thank in the morning, you. okay? Yeah. What does the OFAH do? Since 1928, the OFAH has been the voice of anglers and hunters in Ontario. Its members raise funds and work in communities to support the traditions of fishing, hunting, and trapping. Let's take a look at how the OFAH is making a difference. Hi, I'm August Miller. I'm here with Alicia Howrin from the OFAH and she's a Tackle Share Coordinator. So what is Tackle Share? So Tackle Share is a program that helps get people involved in fishing by removing common barriers that prevent them from getting involved, such as access to fishing equipment and knowledge about recreational angling. And now we do that in two different ways. One is we provide fishing gear at our loaner sites and we also provide educational information through our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to borrow this gear all for free. So what is a loaner site? So we have about 140 loaner sites across the province of Ontario where people can just go in and borrow fishing equipment. They happen at Ontario parks, conservation areas, public libraries, and other community locations. Participating anglers simply go in, sign out a rod and reel in the same way that they would borrow library materials. 
So what happens when someone catches a fish? If you catch a fish, make sure to take a photo and submit it to our Fish Along with Tackle Share initiative. We're giving away lots of prizes every month and lots throughout the year. All right, so now that you know all this information, do you wanna go fishing? Yeah. It's never been more important for youth to get involved and support Ontario's fish and wildlife. Carrying on the tradition of fishing, hunting, and trapping through conservation. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. We took advantage of some nice January weather and spent a morning doing some waterfowling along Lake Ontario. And then hooked up with Rob Henry of Guided Line Sport Fishing to see if Nate could reel in a big lake trout or walleye. Awesome. It doesn't get any better than that. No. Yeah, so to be able to take Nathan hunting, um, and get him out in the field and just see that raw smile on his face <laughs> at that age, it automatically took me back to you know being that kid out there, just happy to be there. You could have a lot of fun with you know two dozen decoys on a shoreline type deal and spend some time with some friends and get out there and, and learn. Every time you go to the field, I think you should learn. You should take something away from it, even if the hunt isn't quote unquote successful on what social media might tell you is a successful hunt. He own. <laughs> <laughs> if you go and you learn something as a young hunter every day that you're in the field, you've just become a better hunter and that should be the important part. And the action's over. Are you doing? <laughs> you normally wouldn't think about fishing from a boat in mid-January, but Rob Henry of Guided Line Sport Fishing knows where the Lakers are, and if the boat launch is open, he will get you out there where the lake trout live. How you break in the uh, angler apprentice right here? How are you feeling? Good. You excited? I'm right, very excited. So we, we got out on a bit of a hunting adventure, and the the ducks didn't cooperate. So um, it being January middle of winter uh, we said we'd get him out ice fishing but the ice didn't cooperate there's no ice on Lake Ontario so we took the uh, liberty of calling up uh, Rob Henry with guided lines uh, sport fishing and he's got this Lund Baron with an enclosure heat and uh, lake trout mecca underneath us we're gonna, we're gonna smash some lake trout you don't need ice to go ice fishing in the in Lake Ontario no you just got a floating ice shack so uh, the plan is we're gonna get uh, Nate to reel in you ever caught a lake trout before I have not perfect all yeah, right first one first one he's gonna catch his first one so uh, my prediction is you're gonna have some cold slimy hands today but you're gonna catch your first second third maybe your fourth yeah lake trout I hope uh, I have cold hands I might not real efficient today we'll see <laughs> um, so never you've never laid trout fish through the ice no nope. never trolled never caught one no nope. what have you caught largemouth smallmouth yeah. perch crappie pike caught one walleye one wall oh my god yeah that wasn't even ice fishing that was just in the summer huh well uh, the irony is we were thinking of going walleye fishing today so that's why we were trying to break some ice but uh, it's just too cool. minus 20 last night, so it made some ice in the bay. So we're out in Lake Ontario and uh, broke oh. some ice getting here. Wasn't that something? Yeah, thick ice. Did you get out and look at that? I did. I did. Nice day in here. I was scared. <laughs> There's a lot of ice. The what plant. hand do you reel with? Right or left? Right. Oh, perfect. You're set up. You're going to be yeah. set up here. Rob's Rob's one of the best. He's We've come out here salmon fishing with them, uh, walleye, I mean lake trout, you name it, and uh, he's got her dialed in. And when a guy launches his boat and keeps his boat ready to go uh, in January, you know he's serious. Yeah. You know, he's pretty serious. So. First laker, here we go. <laughs> you good? You stable? Yeah. I'm going to stand with you so you don't fall in. So the biggest thing, just keep that line tight, all right, bud? Perfect, just like that. You don't want to reef on his mouth too hard. How's it feel? Heavy? That was like a good one. Yeah. See, so you've never you've never been on the back of a boat for salmon or anything? Nope. I don't know if he's 20 pounds, I don't know if he's five pounds. Like <laughs> yeah, you know enough to reel down and pull up, so yeah. that's a good start. He's doing good, he's doing good. Not bad for a bass guy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> if you land this fish, that's one off the bucket list for you. <laughs> 
I'll we bust go. your sights off. Okay, you keep reeling, bud. Oh, yeah, you hold it up, reel down fast. Keep long, keep pressure on it. You'll gain ground. Otherwise, you'll be there a long time. There he is. Oh, it's, it. oh, it's a eater. We'll let the guide make that call, though. There we go. There you go. First what one. Think, what do you think of that, bud? <laughs> Pretty cool. So this one's actually, this one's a stock Laker. See how his adipose fins clipped right there on the back? Yeah. So they normally have a little thumb size fin there, yeah. right? Yeah. He's got the rest of his fins. Usually they'll clip a, a pectoral or a ventricle fin and the adipose. Nice fish. What's that weighing? That's probably gonna go. Smoker? Yeah, that, that'd be a good one for they the want smoker. To keep a couple. Yeah. That up. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Laker slime. Look at you go. So you were asking him mere minutes ago if you could keep him to eat. Yeah. And he wants to fish one. around five pounds. There you go. There you go. That's the one. Put him in the ice box. All right. Good stuff. There you go. <laughs> This portion of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. For all the young people who are getting into hunting or are hunting right now and want to keep doing it for years to come, I think it's a great opportunity. You get to keep telling these uh, memories to family and friends and you get to hang around with family and friends. Yes, the, the ticket is uh, hunting and it's fun to hunt, but it's more hanging out with family and being out in the wilderness and getting to know people and connections. So, how about this connection? Yeah. <laughs> now to say that the Laker bite was good would be an understatement. What's going on out here? Fish on. Within an hour, we put 20 fish in the boat, and Rob was just getting warmed up. That's a bigger one. Yeah. That's what we're after. Look what we got here. Nathan was in his glory trying to keep up with Rob, handing him a rod every two minutes. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah, we were targeting that deeper fish that was following the boat. Boom, hit the Dipsy Diver. Just like that. Oh, we got another fish, guys. Right here. Nate's on another one, Mike's on one. And we're gonna let this one go. Let's go, Nate, bring him in. I didn't have to net both of these in the same net. There's one. I'm almost there. We're gonna wait for number two. Oh, did it. <laughs> wow, how's that? Two and one. <laughs> the two for one. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> I'm sending mine back. That board just dropped. I, this is the one I just put out. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a big one, too. Oh, it is a big one. Oh, we got another one here. Oh, triple, boys? Triple. Two on this side. Here you go, Mike. Oh, me? We need Dad out here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fish, fish, fish. It's a fish factory. Oh, mine's off or it's tangled? <laughs> mine's oh, a big one. I don't know. This is unbelievable. Here, here, mine's a big one. <laughs> Okay, I'll get your board, Mike. There you go. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got a big one. Where are they? Good. Get him in here. I'm gonna fly. Who's got the board? Don't tell me how big he is. Show me how big he is. I reel with my left hand. By the end of the day, my arms burn. Maybe if I do it like this. Well, yes! Okay. What do you think, Robert? Hey, is this okay? You gotta go under and go to the left side, and you come to the middle of the boat. Is this allowed? Yeah. That's usually what girls do, but that's okay. <laughs> Mine's oh, not. You, oh. you gotta come underneath Nate. Again? Come to the middle of the boat. Nate, you go to the right side. There we go. Look at me. Now we're dancing. And I'm reeling with my left hand now. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a Russian reel. That's a big one. Yeah, we can see yours now. Okay, we're gonna do 20? three in one net. <laughs> I still have 40 spot. feet. Yeah. 
Keep her going, keep her going. <laughs> at any point in this show that this is my wrong hand? <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Oh. Look how small the bit! Look at that! Woo! Hey, Rock! Oh, That's a goal. Eat it! Eat That's it. what they're in the rock stick. Here we go! Eat it! <laughs> Whoa! Hoist them up for a pitcher. Oh. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? No. I don't think so. Tired out. Woo! Well, there you go. You still can tell you everybody caught more acres than your dad. Yeah. But he's on the board now. He's caught one. He is on the board. And I think those are the 374th and 5th thousand maker that's been on board this boat. Yeah. First batch. <laughs> Let's get some more. Now you got to untangle that. I got to go in here for a minute. Yeah, that's a good catch. <laughs> The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge this week, we ran the lake in a Lund Baron 2275 powered by a Mercury Pro XS and trolled with a Mercury Pro Kicker. We used the Minn Kota Tarova to keep us on a trolling route and the Humminbird Solix to stay over the brakes and locate suspended fish. Nathan landed his personal best lake trout and walleye with the help of a Lucky Strike net and CUDA Tools made sure all the fish were handled and released properly. Okay, wait a minute. I thought we were lake trout fishing. Well, you were having a snooze there. Yeah. Fell asleep, you know, the heater right, was so hot, and lot. this guy passed out, and we switched to walleye and we're coming. hooked up. Really? I honestly did Walleye fall asleep fishing there. at its best. But how do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, he's caught one. Yeah, what's your biggest? Four and a half, four and a half pounder. Well, you, it looks like you're reeling in a planer board to me. I think Rob's <laughs> messing with you. Got two and a you half. You gotta you stick your tongue out more when you're fighting them fish. <laughs> I can't believe you took a kid out fishing, caught him his first lake trout in his whole life, and maybe, maybe the, his biggest wall? Maybe. That was pretty cool though. We were letting it out with the drag. So it was slowly creeping out, and the planer board was planing out. And then it started going out a little quicker than it should have been. Yeah, that's just good. Grabbed it and ran. Yep. Locked it in and we were on. Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, good walleye. Don't lose it now. Don't blow it. Ah! Woo! Woo! Oh! That's definitely a four pounder. Holy. Look at that thing. That's awesome. Holy. <laughs> what do you think of that, brother? Holy, that that's exciting. what he thinks of it. <laughs> <laughs> very, very excited. That thing's awesome. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Look at that thing, eh? Let's get a quick weight on it. All right. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's over 13. 13, 15, almost 14. Touch 14 there, one, 14, one. I guess like it keeps going back to 13, 15. No, it's a 14 almost. 14, one. It's right there, eh? 14, seven. What a great ending to such an amazing adventure. It's 14, 14 one. pounds all day long. 14, one. 14, one. Wow. Okay, a 14 a pound walleye. You just, you just eclipsed your fish by 10 pounds. Oh oh God. God. Right there, bud. Slide Nathan right. certainly proved to be an avid angler and hunter, and we're sure he will make a great ambassador in years to come. 14 poon walleye. Yes, sir. With this being such a great success and so many amazing candidates, we're going to be looking for another Angler and Hunter apprentice next season. So be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and keep an eye out for announcements. There's guys like that come out here to, to, to Bay Quinney area every year religiously and they spend, you know, weeks out here. Yeah. And, you know, a 14 pounder, 15 is what they're after. And most of them go home with 10s and 12s. So. Except awesome. guy, if you go with Rob though, that changes. Yeah. Then you want Rob. Then you want 16 level. pounders. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, where's mine? This rod here? Is this a 16? <laughs> Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television 
is brought to you in part by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Angler and Hunter Television has been brought to you by Canadian Tire, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Firearms and Ammunition, Suffolk's Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Yukon Gear, Killer Instinct Crossbows, and Outfitter Financial. For more information on the products used in this episode of Angler and Hunter Television, visit AHTV.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, conserve and protect our great outdoors.